Hey guys, what's up? Uh, we are living in a very dramatic moment. Uh, most of my personal family and friends that are living in South Europe are having really bad times, especially the ones that are coming from, you know, my own uh, hometown province, Brescia, in the north of Italy, where, you know, the coronavirus is hitting very, very hard. So I want to hack to everyone virtually from, from my home in London. In today's video, we are going to talk about how this coronavirus, this COVID-19, is changing the media and sports industry. I will do that through an analysis of seven points. My name is Fabio Gallo. How media and sport industry are changing. I want to walk you through a few points that pans it for you today. The first point, the video consumption is up to 40%. So in the last seven days, the video consumption increased by 40%. In some countries like Italy and Spain, that are unfortunately the, uh, the ones that are hit harder by, uh, by the coronavirus, the consumption increased up to 60%. So as you require to stay home, clearly you're not spending money on restaurant and movie tickets. You might be willing to drop a few dollars to stream your, you know, your favorite program or just watching again and again. Second, in the next four months, uh, are supposed to see rollouts of three new streaming platforms, Quibi, Peacock and HBO Max. And so far, there is no indication that coronavirus concerns will delay the introduction of any of them. So still the planning of launching new uh, OTT platforms on worldwide basis or, or geo-restricted to certain countries is still alive. And, you know, companies are still pushing hard because they understand that branding and creating OTT experience is vital for their uh, existence, actually. Number three, mobile and social media usage is skyrocketing so just people in india for instance um, they are now consuming 11 gigabyte of data per month spending more than 70 minutes per day in streaming so leverage this moment for your company or brand is absolutely key so do not give up in this moment you need really to go out and to take advantage of this moment uh, to to spread to spread your voice to spread your branding you can probably generate tons of content that can be very relevant for many of the users that are following your brand. Number four, content production is coming to a halt. Disney and Netflix have already decided to stop production uh, to preserve the health clearly of the cast and the crew. This also will mean that the longest will be the hard stop due to the virus and less new content will be available to watch in the next months. This is this is very true and for the entertainment sector, but clearly also and especially for the sports. And I will come back to that in the last point. Number five is about reality show. So reality shows like The Big Brother or American Idol or The Voice uh, are being hit and very very hard clearly because they had to suspend uh, the programs, and and those programs are normally prime time in most of the countries uh, so they are very very heated by this kind of uh, coronavirus so uh, there will be a big economic downturn because those shows in most of the country are attracting a lot of advertisers and clearly if uh, you don't have advertiser sponsor you you don't get money and then you uh, have to suspend or hold all the kind of programs number six Advertiser, we already talked about advertisement and advertising industry is totally disrupted. The traditional ads industry has been dramatically affected as many, you know, as many events have been cancelled or postponed. And so the budget spent that in most of the cases were already booked for advertisers has been suspended and put on hold. And this is very true, again, not just for the media entertainment industry, but also for the sports. I have a lot of friends that work in the sport industry. They just reach me out and say, hey, Fabio, we have to hold, or we have to cancel 
few contracts that were coming out for the next few months just because there are no sport events if there are no sport events or there are no uh, like like we said a reality show or uh, entertainment programs clearly the sponsor don't have to to put money on the table for 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 having visibility there and and that's the the, the real true number seven and the last point for today is sport unfortunately is living the worst scenario ever um, there is almost no sport available to watch anymore and so no more live streaming content too we don't know how long uh, how long it will last uh, for sure but what companies can do in this in these very bad times is is about creating a new completely a new structure a new strategy around around your content some companies are reacting to the situation with uh, free access to content there are many ott providers or many telco providers and uh, they go direct to consumer that they're offering you know free content to everyone clearly with the objective and the final tactic then they hope that most of you know what they call the the casual fans or the fans that are not a subscriber or paying for a service right now and they get in access for free they will probably be hopefully be uh, the new customer of the future so if you want to know more about all these things if you have struggling if you're struggling with your ott services if you don't have a content strategy in place or if you have any marketing issue uh, or to attract or you know to, to to work around this coronavirus situation, drop me a line at fabio at viewlift.com. Bye.